So my wife bought one of those so-called no spill sippy cups off Amazon and after seeing just how much it spilled, I decided to buy some of the highest rated sippy cups on the market and in this video I'm going to be putting them head to head to see which one actually lives up to the no spill name. Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Jimmy with Dadverb, and in this video, we're not gonna be going into the debate of which cup is the right one to use, whether that's an open mouth cup or a straw cup or a sippy cup. We're simply just gonna be testing each of these cups to see which one leaks. So the way it's gonna work is I'm gonna be putting each of these cups through a series of tests, such as a shake test and a drop test. I'm not gonna be talking about the price because each one of them is pretty much the same, ranging from anywhere from $5 to $10, but I will mention if there's one outside of that range. I'll be talking about the build quality and any special features it might have. At the very end, I'll talk about the pros and cons of each cup and which cups we'll be using moving forward. So the first cup we have here is the Munchkin Any Angle. It has a seven ounce capacity and a good build quality. It has a locking lid, a cap that shuts, and like its namesake, can be used at any angle due to the flexible straw and weighted anchor, so it can even be used upside down. This cup only has four parts, so it's relatively easy to clean. It just has the cup, the lid, the flexible straw, which is all one piece, as well as the anchor. This cup did really well in both the shake and drop tests. It didn't leak anything, so I'd say that it passed. So the next cup we have on our list is the Munchkin Snack Catch and Sip. It has a nine ounce capacity for fluid and a four ounce capacity for snacks. This cup has a rigid straw, so it's meant to be used in this upward position. This cup also has four different parts, so it's relatively easy to clean. The lid is attached to the straw, and when pulled out, you can see the rigid part of the straw comes right off. Then you have the snack part, and the cup. This cup did really well in both the shake and drop test. It didn't leak anything, so it definitely passed. So the next cup on our list is the Potato Straw Cup. It has a 10 ounce capacity and the build quality is super solid, much better than the previous two cups. Now this cup is a little bit different than some of the others. It has a lid that closes in the spouts. And speaking of the spouts, it came with two different spouts. One was a nipple for newborn six to 12 months, and the other is a straw for toddlers 12 plus months. It also has measurements on the outside so you know exactly how much you're putting in it. You're gonna pay for those premium features because this one is the most expensive on our list at $16. This cup can be used at any angle just like the other Munchkin cup because it has a flexible straw and a weighted anchor. However, this one has six parts so it does take a little bit longer to clean and it does take longer to reassemble as well. The potato cup did really well in the shake test, nothing came out as expected with the lid both open and closed. However, in the drop test, the lid popped right off and broke, which is really not a problem, but this lid right here started to crack on the very first drop, and then by the third drop, the crack had grown and milk was really starting to come out. So unfortunately, the potato straw cup didn't pass the drop test. So next up is the Newbie Straw Cup. It also has a 10 ounce capacity, but the build quality just doesn't feel very good. It doesn't have handles, but it does come to a bottleneck here in the center so little hands can wrap around it. This cup also has a rigid straw, so it is meant to be used in the upright position. It really doesn't have any special features, but it is the cheapest on our list at only $2.66. This cup has four different pieces, so it's relatively easy to clean, but does take a little bit longer to put back together due to the way it's designed. This cup did really well in the shake and drop test. It did not leak anything in either of the tests. However, there are a few cons about this cup that I'll be mentioning at the very end. So now we're moving out of our straw cups and into our sippy cups. The first cup we have here is the Munchkin Miracle 360 cup. It has a seven ounce capacity and a good build quality similar to the other Munchkin products. This is considered to be a trainer cup, so it doesn't have a straw and can be tilted back and really used at any angle. This cup is really easy to clean because it only has three parts, just the cup, the lid, and this rubber flap. All your child needs to do is put their mouth on the lid at any point and just start sucking. What makes this cup really special is that it is the only cup that is dentist recommended. However, I will say that we just went to the dentist the other day with our son and we asked what his opinion was on teeth development and sippy cups. He said he really wasn't concerned about sippy cups since you aren't using them all day. The things he was concerned about were pacifiers and bottles, so take that for what it is. 
The Miracle 360 cup did not do well in the shake test. This is actually a cup that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. And even when Brady shakes it, which is a little bit less jarring than when I shake it, we still have milk flying everywhere on the floor. And then on the drop test, well, Yeah, this cup didn't do so well. The lid popped right off, and that's actually happened to us once before in real life. And even if the lid doesn't pop off, you're still gonna be cleaning up milk all over your floor. So unfortunately, this cup did not pass the no spill test. So the final cup on our list is the Replay Sippy Cup. It has a 10 ounce capacity and the build quality is different than any of the other ones. This one has a more plastic toy feel, but I will say that it does feel a little bit thicker and stronger than some of the other cups. It only has three parts, so it's very easy to clean. Just the cup, the lid, and this rubber suction part that is pretty easy to take in and out. This cup is different because it has a rigid mouthpiece as opposed to the other ones which all have rubberized mouthpiece. The claim to fame with this cup is that it's made from recycled materials, so I guess every cup is made out of two recycled milk jugs and is made in the USA. The Replay cup did really well in both the shake and drop test. It didn't leak anything, so I'd say that it definitely passed. So now let's get into my final thoughts for each of the cups. Let's talk about the Munchkin Snack Catch and Sip. I really wanted to like this cup because I just like things with extra features. I really love that you could have your snack along with your drink. However, Brady was very focused on the snack and wouldn't drink anything out of here because he was so focused on getting the things out of here. And even days later, when there weren't any snacks in here, he was still trying to get his hand in here. Then when he would stick his hand in here, the lid, the rubber lid would start to pop off, which is a problem because it's attached to the straw, not to mention all your snacks are gonna start falling off. This cup also has a rigid straw, and for Brady, who's only 13 months, he tilts his head back and tilts the cup up. So unfortunately, rigid straws just don't work for us. Next is the potato cup. This cup worked well for us in the beginning. Brady took well to it. Unfortunately, he did play with the cap a little bit more often than drinking. And I really didn't like how many parts it had and getting it put together and taken apart just took too long. The fact that it broke was just the icing on top of the cake, so this is not a cup we'll be going with. Next, let's talk about the Newbie Cup. I really do think that this is a good value and a good option for a lot of people, especially at the price. However, it's a rigid straw cup, so it doesn't work for us. And one of the main reasons is because it has this bottleneck. So when the water is all on one side, then the cup completely leans to that side. So if you tilt it this way, as soon as enough water is over at the front, then it completely tilts that way. And now you have the rigid straw completely out of the water. So unfortunately, it just didn't work for us. Next up, we have the Munchkin Miracle 360 cup. We have been using this cup since the very beginning and have been frustrated with it since the very beginning, but we just keep using it because it's dentist recommended. We mainly use it for milk, but like the test showed, it sprays milk everywhere, whether it's shook or drop. I think we'll probably continue to use it just because, you know, teeth development. You know, how can you deny that even though a dentist says not to worry about it, but we will continue to use this. However, it's probably the one that leaked the most in our test. So next we have the replay cup. This cup really works for us because it doesn't have a straw at all, so it can be used at any angle. Brady seems to like it. He doesn't mind having the rigid nipple at all. And I do like the design of it. It feels like a toy and I like the fact that it's used out of recycled materials. So we will continue to use this cup moving forward. So finally we have the Munchkin Any Angle. And coincidentally, this was the first cup we bought that was spilling everywhere. Well, we bought more of them for this test and those weren't spilling at all. So we knew that the cup that we had was actually a defective one. The reason why this cup works for us is because Brady likes to tilt his head back, so it really helps that it can be used at any angle, just like the namesake. Because it only has four parts, it's super easy to clean. We've been using this cup the most often, and we're probably gonna continue to use this the most moving forward. So as you can see, most of these cups actually lived up to the no spill name, and depending on what your needs are, any of these might actually work for you. If you have any recommendations or suggestions on other sippy cups, then leave a comment down below. If you got value out of this video, then definitely hit that like button, and for more videos and reviews for new parents, then consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video and come back for the next one. Peace.